Macallan Rare Cask. Should you grab this one? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Hey everybody, Mark here from Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you Macallan Rare Cask 2020. Now, by the way, this is, I guess, my first recording in the new studio. I hope you like it. It'll be shaping up as time passes. The walls behind you will all be filled eventually, and I'll be able to reverse the camera and maybe have a little bit of fun with the bar and also with the background. So stay tuned for that. That'll happen over the next, well, few months. It's, it's kind of hard, difficult to get wood right now. But anyway, let's get this poured. So this is McAllen Rare Cask 2020. And uh, I purchased this for an event, a corporate event that uh, I have coming up. And I know there's a lot of McAllen fans amongst those attendees. And, uh, you know, it's really hard to get great McAllen under a certain threshold. And it seems to be, after trying this, about $400 Canadian. And let's see if that's worth it. And if you should maybe look at McAllen 12 Sherry Oak or perhaps something else. But let's give this a fair tasting. I already tried it. And I have to say, I like it. I do like it. And let's find out if I like that $400 worth. Let's get that poured. Okay. A nice amount, about a standard 30 milliliter pour. The glass, again, big thanks to, to Joe in Chicago for sending me these gorgeous, gorgeous whiskey whistle glasses. Those will be the next edition. Okay, now I'm gonna get this clunky box out of the way, but one thing I wanna mention first of all is that not only do you have a box, but they also put a box over the box. Now, I get that you wanna keep the box beautifully for your clients. However, I think that's overkill. I think you could just, you know, maybe wrap that in plastic. Might be good. Of course, it is recyclable, so that's nice, but a little bit of overkill. Okay, so we'll get that tucked out of the way. Nothing really to mention there, it's 2020. Uh, this is 43% ABV, and you can expect that it is, it is uh, chill filtered to a degree. Uh, they claim that it's natural in color. However, we don't know that if it's on the label, it would be very beneficial. So uh, that's up to you to figure that out for yourself. So first of all, we're going to smell it and we're going to taste it. Then we'll add a little bit of water and try that again before giving it a whiskey whistle whiskey score. Stay tuned for that, all right? Okay, let's check out the nose. The first thing that struck me the first time I tried it while pouring samples of this was that it is beautiful Macallan Sherry. And it's very distinctive. You really don't get this signature in other distilleries. And I think it's a winning formula for them. I hope the new distillery with all its new stills can perform as well. So you get some fudgy dark chocolate. You get rich, like rummy raisins. You get a little bit of very dark fig, dried fig. And straight up Vina Tarta, uh, the Scandinavian dessert, including the icing. And of, of course, I've mentioned this as a tasting note before, but it is a cake that is to die for. You should really should try it. But yes, a nice chocolate and it's, um, it's semi-sweet chocolate. It's not too overpoweringly sweet. What's nice about this is the really dark fruits are, are keeping that intense sweetness at bay and you're not turned off by overt sweetness here. Now the old Macallan 12 in the brown box, I used to get this kind of um, gummy worm sort of a flavor, like a, a fresh bag of gummy worms or wine gums if, if you want, um, a little bit different of a scent. However, uh, I'm not really getting that sort of gummy candy here. It's really richer and 
The nose tells me right away this is older, and it really reminds me of old Macallan 18, not the new one, but the old Macallan 18, which was pretty fantastic. Okay. Now, of course, you probably hear people talk about, okay, the old is better, the new isn't as good. So what do you do if you're a new whiskey drinker coming in? I mean, do you just sit by and not buy those brands? Because that was happening when I was trying McCallum for the first time too. Oh, the older McCallums are better. The ones from before I started getting into McCallum. So whatever came before the uh, brown box with the white label and the simp simple bottle, it didn't have that uh, Superman V shape. Okay, anyway, so I don't know. I think um, start with the 12 year old expression or the 10 year old, whatever they have. Try that. Try it at a bar if you really want to save your coin and then decide, okay, at the bar, okay, I like this. Then go ahead and get the big bottle. And if you find you really like that whiskey compared to others, then go on and try the next one and the next one. And you might find that that becomes your, your um, well, you'll become a brand fan, let's just say. Okay, so beautiful nose. I keep coming back. I keep getting this beautiful chocolatey, it's like a, a, um, a raisin tart or a butter tart, but add a layer of dark chocolate on top. I think that would be really good. The, the, the palate, yes. I was going to say the nose. No, it's not the nose, the palate. Cheers, folks. First of all, it's not aggressive at all. It is super excellent on the palate. So if you are, if you really want to wow your guests, let's say, and if you're not sure if they are into whiskey or not, maybe they're wine drinkers, maybe they're beer drinkers, guarantee you they will like this. You know, if you want to flash, flash out for splash out 400 bucks on a bottle for your friends, personally, not, I don't do that. I think uh, about 200 is about kind of like my my coming, you know, let's let's share a bottle, let's, let's let's drink a bottle tonight kind of thing. Not the whole bottle. Okay, another taste. Hmm. Hmm. The chocolate comes through on the palate, and I love that I can do this. I feel like I'm in a like a Western bar. I just need a little 10 gallon or something. Very rich. There is some uh, very brooding kind of unexpected flavors coming in here. And I think we have lots of older casks. It doesn't have an age statement. Someone say, oh, that means it's three years old. Definitely not in this case. There is not, I would say, if there was any three-year-old McCallum in this, I would be absolutely shocked. I'm thinking this is minimum 15 and up to possibly 20, 25 years old uh, in some amount. Very much follows through the palate as with the, uh, the nose, raisins, um, not as figgy. We still have the Vena Tarta. We've got the chocolate there too. Spicy. We're getting some nutmeg. And that's coming from those European oak casks. <clears throat> and just to read you what it says here. Rare cask is created only from oak casks which exhibit an incredibly rich, smooth complexity. These hand-selected casks are a rare and special discovery. And apparently only something like 1% of casks make it into the rare cask. As I discolored the front label. Good job, Mark. Okay, um, the bottle, by the way, the bottle shape, I do like it. Um, it's got that one of those super heavy cork stoppers as well. I would definitely keep that, and I think it's it's well placed on a bottle like this. 
I wouldn't want to see that in the 12 or the 15 or even the 18, to be honest. Okay. Final sip of the palette. Hmm. As your mouth gets accl uh, um, uh, acclimatized to the, the, the palette, you do get some tannins, you do get some astringency. You've got some, a uh, little bit of um, like a bitter, what's the word I'm looking for? Some bitter chocolate for sure. And it's kind of like the fruit skins where you have a lot of the tannins and a lot of people, especially in Korea, actually, about grapes, as, a, as an aside, you know, the Concord grapes, the snot grapes, uh, a lot of Koreans will eat the inside and discard the skin. And I just can't figure it out because there is that layer in between the, the, the snot and the skin that has a little layer of sweetness. I just love it. And to be honest, I really like the uh, the bitter taste. So you get a bit of bitter tannins, I guess, coming from also from the grape, possibly from the the toasted European oak casks. Anyway, quite nice. Let's add a little bit of water here. And I can't find my usual setup for water, so we're going to go back to the, uh, the uh, little water bottle cap, which works very well. You can really get just a couple of drops as you need. I think I want one more in there. There we go. That's about six drops. That's about all you need. It's 43% ABV. It's pretty much great drinking strength. I see I have a fruit fly coming in for Macallan, and I always find when I pour Macallan, I get fruit flies coming. So that tells you something about just the signature. It's, it's very approachable. It's very sweet. Not sickeningly sweet, but the fruit, um, the fruit sweetness. Okay, so let's let that settle down a minute. Well, how about that? That bag of gummy worms has returned. But also we're getting a little bit of pipe tobacco smoke, uh, pardon me, pipe tobacco pre-burn. So a fresh bag of pipe tobacco. Uh, no flavor, just a straight up nice tobacco. The uh, the nutmeg is ramping up here with water. And we've still got the grape raisins, the dark, dark raisins. We've got the figs working in there and the vina tarta as well. But this little bit of tobacco is, is very welcome. For me, that is a great note for old whiskey. That said, I don't get leather here at all. This is not a leathery style of, uh, of whiskey. I don't think I usually get leather in Macallan anyway. And also no bookshelves. So the age is being presented here as, uh, as um, uh, tobacco, fresh cut old tobacco old meaning well aged yeah like it's like a beautiful cohiba cigar or the, or the pipe tobacco with some uh some kind of chocolate dish where you get the waft of chocolate coming a little bit of uh dark brownie hmm much sweeter with water. That bit of bitter fruit skin edge has diminished and we've just got straight access to the, the range of sweet fruity flavors of this Macallan rare cask. Hmm.
and it's like it's dark chocolate, but not 70%. It's more like 50-60%, but no sugar and just an increased amount of um, cocoa butter rather than cocoa solids in that chocolate. So it would be a very melty type of a, a, of a chocolate. Hmm. Well, that is quite delicious. Now, oh, and the, the, the finish as I'm sitting here, I'm getting drizzles of uh, like dark, uh, dark raisin kind of a, a jamminess coming through here. And a little bit of that feeling of um, well, tobacco is a, a tough word to use, but there's a little bit of sweet kind of a, um, earthiness to it that's really lovely. Very sweet finish, and the length is... It's long. It does truncate at some point, but it trails out into sweet spices, a little bit of nutmeg, and it's delicious. And to me, these are the older casks from Macallan that you don't typically get in uh, the 18-year-old or the 12-year-old today. So let me just set that down and we'll get onto the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score. And after that, we'll talk about price point, value, etc. Okay. All right, so Macallan Rare Cask. Let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for that. And you know what? I'm going to give it a preemptive Whiskey Whistle Malt Hug. And it deserves, uh, it, pardon me, it deserves a kiss. One on the uh, the cute little uh, uh, bottle stopper there. Mm. Okay, so I think you get an idea of where I'm going with this. The Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for the Macallan Rare Cask 2020. What is that going to be, folks? It's going to be 93 out of 100. You heard it, 93 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Macallan Rare Cask 2020. Have you tried it? If so, leave a comment. Are you thinking about getting it? Did this uh, increase your interest in getting a bottle? Do you love Macallan? Do you hate it? Throw me up some comments, please, okay? And I should say, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, there should be a little link over here you can click to subscribe. Check me out on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Whiskey Whistle. Also Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. You can check out all the channels of Whiskey Whistle. Now let's get on to the, the question of whether this is worth $400. Now we have to gauge this in 2021 dollars, okay? So in 2021 dollars, is this worth uh, $400 Canadian? And I'll go back and I'll tell you that I paid $300 for Macallan 18s. The last time I did a review of Macallan 18, which was maybe 2017. And I liked it then. I didn't like it as much as this. I liked it then. And I thought it was a bit overpriced. But just gauging it to how happy I am with this. I'd say that for Macallan lovers... You should go get this. I think it's great. If you haven't tried it, you really should. Um, for obviously, if you're not into Macallan and if you think it's if it's, if it's uh, pardon me, you think it's not worth it, well, then you're going to skip that one. Um, but you're going to miss something because it, it's pretty pretty excellent. And if you've got a friend then uh, who has a bottle, just try and maybe trade up for a sample. You'll see what I'm talking about. Just make sure you, it comes before anything cask strength because it is 43%. That would be one beef I have, is that this bottle would be so much better presented at 46%, maybe 48%, maybe 50% would have been just mwah, amazing. Unchill filtered, natural color. I think that would restore Macallan's, let's say, position as the the zenith, the, the top. That's really short, <laughs> that's really low the top of, uh, of single malt scotch whiskey. And it does have the ability to be there because the distillate, the uh, the craftsmanship, 
their attention to task management, these things work for them. All right. Okay. So 93 points. Let me know your thoughts. Um, so I would say it is a, a buy for those into McAllen. It might not be for others, if that makes sense. And uh, if you've got an event coming up, that might be a great bottle because a bunch of people can try it at the same time. So throw that into your whiskey club and see how that goes, okay? Anyway, take care, folks. We'll see you next time. And I've got some great whiskeys coming up very soon. Check it out. Take care. Bye-bye.